What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Road to Raids. This time we've got kind of a little bit of bossing, uh, it's a tail end bit of the kind of Slayer continuation that we were doing in the last video. But uh, we kind of hit a roadblock and that needed to be overcome and it's been something I've been putting off for a long long time and uh, you've probably figured it out from the screen. Uh, I am fishing and here I'm just about to get 79 fishing and then after that we will be kind of continuing on with a little bit of Slayer. Uh, and then we'll be back to the fishing and clue scrolls after that. So I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, as always, you know, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. I don't mind. But feel free to leave a comment. And there's 79 fishing rolling through. As always, I upload videos every Sunday. So uh, you can look forward to those. And uh, as always, I look forward to making them as well. So here we are, we're just rushing to a bit of uh, Dagonoth Kings because I went back to Slayer and I've now switched up so I'm using Duradel, uh for Slayer points. Largely because it gives boss tasks far more regularly and this was a boss task, this was a task of 35 Dagonoth Kings. Um, which I quite enjoy so I went to do that. I've been waiting for a Dagonoth Kings task for ages actually. Um, you know, I haven't got any of the rings except for the Warrior's Ring. I haven't got the D-Axe, the Seer Cull, or the Mud Battle axe, uh, mud battle Staff. So, yeah, I need to get a lot of items from these guys. And it didn't happen this trip. The only thing that I got this trip was a Hard Clue Scroll. I still need to work on my stats a bit, actually. Um, you know, it's kind of slow taking down the Major. That's the always the main thing, really. I might bring, like, a ranged leg swap next time just to kind of improve my accuracy. So I did actually get a Hellhounds task after the Dagonoth tasks, but I wasn't really in the mood to do another full task of uh, of Serb at this point. And also, he just he does use so many supplies, especially the food as well. Um, people complain about the potions, but he does some chomp through my food, and that's largely because I'm not perfect at the prayer switching. But um, so I decided to skip that task, which may have been a stupid decision, but I've got like 1.7k points, so I'm not too worried. And it popped up with a Greater Demons task. Luckily, I just remembered to unblock Greater Demons literally right before this. Um, and yeah, so this is, I think, our fourth trip. And we're getting the hang of it. You know, I, I don't really have a problem with God Wars Dungeons at all. Um, it was one of the things I was more confident to do. But it is nice to be here without being hardcore because, you know, it just means that I can, like, boss way more regularly and, you know, actually enjoy it rather than being kind of pent up and, you know, really, really having to focus. Um, and it means that I can only do bossing at certain times of days and, you know, stuff like that. But there we go. We've got our first unique from Zami on 12 kill count, and that's the Steam Battle Staff, which I'm sure will have some uses. I think for glass blowing or something like that, it would be very useful. Um, so that's cool. It's not massively valuable, it's not really something I need, but it's there as another item to fill the bank with. But at this point, uh, I did one more trip, and then I realised that I was pretty much out of food. Um, and I've been surviving off food drops, raw food drops, or just like manta rays from Zora for a long, long time. Um, and yeah, so that's something I've been working on. So here we are back at Gorax, and... Well, not back at Gorax, this is my, uh, like, only my second trip. Uh, and I got my Dragon Spear. I needed it for the Elite Clue Scroll that I've got in my inventory. Uh, and thanks to an Ultimate Iron Man called Skill Me Please in our clan chat, who uh, showed me a range safe spot. Uh, but in the end, I decided that range was a bit too slow for my liking, and I just went with a whip and guthans and really tried to smash them out. And it eventually paid off, getting the uh, D Spear there. So next up, you'll see the Clue Loot. So here we go, here's the, the Elite Clue class Casket. And what are we going to get? There we go. So nothing particularly interesting except another master clue. I'm pretty certain I wasn't able to do that one. Um, the master clues can be a bit tricky for me. Some of them are really easy and some of them are really, really out of the realm of, you know, what I can achieve soon. Here we go. We've got another hard. We've been doing a lot of clues recently and we've got an ancient quaff. Again, not useful at all. It's another blessed dehyde part, which, you know, it kind of has very niche uses, but uh, a quaff I don't think I'll ever be using. Um, yeah, so we're carrying on, and we've got another hard clue scroll. In this one, we've got an ancient plate skirt, which again is a unique, but again, not useful. It's just filling up the bank at this point. 
So now, as I've been saying, I needed to improve my fishing level, I needed lots of food, and um, you might be shocked to hear, even at this point, I'm not even 82 fishing. So I went to Trawler, and this was because I got level 79 earlier in the video, as you saw, and I need the angler suit. So I was hoping to get really lucky, but I did go at level 79 um, so that I could spend as long at the trawler as I need without it being kind of inefficient, if you see what I mean. I didn't want to go past level 82 while still getting the angler outfit. Um, and yeah, so I'll show you in the next few clips of me getting those bits. But you will see throughout them, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to tell anyway in the video, but... I was very, very lucky. It took me eight rounds. I have exactly eight video files um, whilst doing this. And that literally means it. So half of them I didn't get a piece and half of them I did get a piece. So it was very, very lucky actually. Um, and I'm very pleased to be out of there as soon as possible. Um, I was talking to guys on the boat that were already there for like six, seven hours, you know. And there have been a couple of guys in the clan chat who I think with Vibba, I think he was there for three days. I can't remember how many games it took him, but it was a big, big grind. Um, so yeah, that's full angler achieved. And now we've just got to go back to actually getting the fishing levels. So I decided from level 80, I'm going to fish Kuanbuans because I'm always going to need them. Um... And so 80 to 82 should get me quite a lot of Kwambans. That was the main idea. And I've already got quite a lot of monkfish. So, yeah, we're going to switch it up a little bit. So I did a bit of fishing. Um, and then a few guys in the clan chat, they've been getting into raids as well recently. And they had some friends that were willing to kind of carry some Iron Men through it. So here we are. We're just doing the first raid. And this is a real struggle because we're on a US world. I mean, as nice as the guys are to let us raid with them, I just don't think I can keep doing raids on US worlds because you just take deaths for nothing. Um, you know, to lose 200 milliseconds in ping is disastrous at raids, uh, especially in the Shaman room. It can get you killed so easily. Like, they will. I'll, I'll basically preempt that they're going to do a poison attack and I will move across the room. And in doing so, I've clicked before the attack, but then the attack still hits me. So it's kind of, it's next to impossible to do a raid on a US server. So I probably won't be doing that again. It's kind of rage inducing. Um, and it does mean the points suffer dramatically. Um, but yeah, so we got through it. And I didn't see for a while because my chat was scrolled up, but then somebody said, ooh. And so, there we go, one of the Iron Men, the Govetta, got an Arcane Spur Prayer Scroll. So, he doesn't even have the prayer level for it, <laughs> it turns out. So yeah, he's going to have to get working on that. So next up, me and Champs decided to do a duo. Um, we did have a three-man going on, but uh, one of them had to bail out, I think he wasn't feeling too well. Um, and so we came in on a duo raid to see if we could just learn and kind of make our way through it. Now, I think I've died like three times in this raid. Uh, this is after, you can see there's piles of pots on the floor. We both died in the Ulm room. I basically let myself die so that we could come back fresh and just finish off Ulm completely. Um, but yeah, on throughout the raid I died a couple of times to, you know, pretty stupid stuff really. I've got to get better with kind of getting to Ulm without dying. Um, uh, but luckily this one was on a, a p low ping world. But there we go, that's our sixth raid, no loot for us. I think we did pretty well to be honest. Just over an hour. We've, I have duoed one raid before but it was on my main and we had D Warhammers and all sorts. So yeah, um, it was a good raid. And I think me and Champs will be doing some more at some point. I'm not too certain, though. So now we're back to the boring bit of fishing. And my screen's a bit skewed with here because I'm trying to change the uh, the screen size so that I've got a slightly easier play uh, for kind of Ulm, basically. With uh, the, the small screen, I was basically playing it on, like, 760p, kind of, if you see what I mean. Um, but there's 80 fishing. And so I wanted to just kind of make it just a bit bigger and so I didn't change my OS body stretching kind of thing and so it's a little bit off the side there but that is fixed in the upcoming clips and here we are back at raids again uh, it's now a trio with Iron Elbor and Smoke Devil I believe um, and it was going okay to be honest we was doing a little raid I'm getting quite used to this uh, and the standing at the front of the Ulm I'm getting much better at at dodging the uh, kind of 
falling rocks. They used to be a big problem for me, but I'm actually getting much better at that. And so that was just shy of 52 minutes, our seventh raid, well, for this account. And we're doing okay, but we've got a lot of lizardmen fangs and some teak planks. It's not too bad. I'm back to fishing again. Obviously, fishing takes such a long time that, you know, if somebody calls out a raid in the middle of it, I'm going to go. But there's 81 fishing. We're starting to get close, and these are obviously at Corambrans at this point. And I can now catch manta rays on the trawler. I didn't realise I couldn't, but I should have maybe worked that out. Not that I'm ever going back there. And then we're back again with our nice little fishing outfit. And that's 82 fishing finally rolling through. So that's really good news. I can go and fish minnows now and get sharks, which is something that I really, really need. So we'll be doing lots of that. Oh, and anglerfish. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could do some of that, but it's probably quite unlikely for the you know foreseeable future. During that fishing grind, I actually got easy, medium, hard, and elite clue scrolls from the bottles. So I've got a free master from all of those, which I have will be trading into Watson. But here we are. We're just hitting 40,000 minnow, which means I can get my first 1,000 sharks. I just trade it with uh, Kylie yeah. Minnow there. And there we go. I don't know why she offers. I guess you might not want to trade in all of your minnows. But there we go. That's my first 1,000 sharks ever cooked. I'm going to drop the rest. I haven't got space for seven minnows in the bank. Okay, so now we deposit the raw sharks. You can see how much fish I have to cook. Over 6,000 monkfish, over 8,000 raw corambrans, and nearly 3,000 raw sharks. So that's going to take me quite a while. Skilling tab now at 100 mil on its own. That's pretty cool. So uh, next up we're going to turn in all the clues, get a free master, and we're going to have a spare elite from Watson. And then, yeah, we're, I'm going to actually do the cooking first and save the master and all that for the next video. That's if it's completable. So there we go, that's the first cooking level of this grind, that's 82 cooking. We can now cook sea turtles, which is handy because I got a few from the trawler minigame. And there we go, there's 83. There goes 84. We're still cooking monkfish, it's looking good for levels really. This is going to help a lot towards a 2k total goal. So now we're on the Quran Barns, and like I said, I've got over 8,500 of these things to cook, so that should get me a few good levels here. That's 85, and gives me a total of 1950 as well. So we've got 50 total levels to go till the 2k, so we're getting really close. And for the last level of the day, we're obviously going to hit 86. I'm still fishing at the moment, whilst I'm recording this actually. Um, I've still got 5,000 Corambrines to go. I've still got all the sharks to go. And I'm suspecting that I will hit 90 cooking. I'm really hopeful actually. But there's the 86. Um, 90 cooking will be fantastic. So 90 cooking will get us exactly 45 levels from 2k total, which is fantastic news. Um, I'm going to be grinding quite a lot to get to that 2k total soon, uh, but obviously I've got to go back to Zami and carry on trying to get this Hasta first. So yeah, that's it for this week's video, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you on RuneScape. Take it easy. Peace.